In this video, I'll show you exactly how I customize this chat widget using the recent LLM Cloud for Sonet inside of Cursor. And this chat is integrated with NAN, so you can head over to NAN, select this chat URL right here, head back to the code, go all the way down, place it in this field right here, save the code, and you're good to go. The other day back in the iForge community, right down here in the comment section, let's scroll all the way down, a new member arrived and he asked about setting up a custom chatbot for his own website. And so I sent him this video right here, which is from Matt Penny, where he creates this chat widget right here. And then the idea here is that we're going to be using NAN's chat trigger to make this work. So it's as easy as creating a workflow. Uh, let me create the AI agent. Let's use Gemini. So Gemini for the chat model, 2.0 flash, that's configured. As for the memory, let's just use a simple memory. And at this point, it should work pretty fine. I can open up the chat, type in hey, and then it'll answer me back. But for the chat widget that Matt set up, you'll have to add some additional configuration. So down in your memory, select to define below. Actually, before I click that, let me copy this, define below. And now in here, you'll want to type in JSON and then dot chat ID, nice. And also for the AI agent, you'll want to copy this down, define below, select the expression. And in here, you'll just want to place in JSON dot message. Hit save, make sure to toggle this on, go back to your chat trigger, toggle this on, grab this URL right here, go back to the chat widget, scroll all the way down to where you see uh, the URL field. So your URL here, place that in. And now if I send a message like, hey, click send, I'll get back exactly the response from VLM. Matt Penny even mentioned in his video that we should use some kind of AI assistant to improve this. And since Claude 4 has launched yesterday, and I believe that Claude is definitely the best coding assistant out there, I'm going to be using it inside of Cursor to try to build the best custom chatbot integrated with NAN that we can possibly have. So all I really did here was create the NAN chatbot folder, created the index.html file and placed everything that was from here in here. Now let me grab this URL, head down here, and just paste it in right here. Hit save, and one thing you'll likely want to have is the live server extension. This live server extension just allows you to not have to keep refreshing the page every time you make any change. So if I open up this file right here inside of the file explorer, it opened up like that. Let's change this chat text right here. So if I place in something like text, hit save, that change won't be reflected back here. I'll have to F5 this, and then I'll see the text string right there. Going live ensures that I have a server running, and then any change I make right here, so let's erase that text, that'll be reflected back to the page without me having to refresh the page every single time. I can divide the screen like this. Let's test it sending hey. Let's see if we get a response back. Okay, there you go. It took a while, but we got the message. So now I'm just really going to start prompting and asking it for features that I believe that a chatbot, like a custom chatbot like this should have. I think, I think we're all set. Let me hit enter and see what we get. Okay, well, it did something. Yeah, there's a lot of emojis. Wow, Claude 3.7 Sonnet didn't have that much emojis. Okay, chat assistant, a lot has changed. Let's see, type your message here. Hi, I don't know what I think about this. I feel like it's too colorful. Hi, how can I help you today? Are you looking for, okay. It sent the message and then it's automatically scrolled down. Let's see, answer me back in Markdown with a list of animal names. Okay, yeah, it's scrolling down efficiently. It just doesn't have the markdown. Let's add that markdown there. So yeah, and I really don't like this bubble right here. Let me see if I click out of it. Let's ask for more features. Yeah, I hate placing in some prompts like this, like it's too colorful and I didn't really give it a solution, but I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what would be the best solution here. So let's just go with that. So while that's loading, let's head over to another chatbot and just have a conversation like, hello. Uh, yeah, we have an upvote response. Don't really want that copy. There, there's the avatar. Really don't think we need that. I believe this is a text area instead of an input. And maybe that should be better because the user's text could be have more than one line and then they could like lose themselves there. As for our chat, hey, it seems to be ready. Okay, let me hit accept, click that. Okay, it seems like more professional. Let me type in, hey, okay. 
bigger, seems nice. Let's make it answer back in Markdown with a list of animals. Markdown was identified. When I hover the card, then that new brutalism shadow shows. And finally, if I click outside of the window, it closes as it should. And this should also work for mobile. So currently, if you open up the chat, you'll see that it doesn't fit inside of a screen for a cell phone. So let's make sure to change that. Another thing I want to change is this hello, how can I help you today? Because it doesn't seem like it's a message from the chatbot. And it's just like a, a message up there that is like, it's strange. Like I don't like how it is right now. And finally, let's make it into a text area instead of an input field, because I believe if I type in A and then, yeah, it'll just like send the message, even if I hit like shift enter. So yeah, let me send that and see what happens. I feel like it takes way longer than 3.7 Sonnet. About the result, I'm not sure it fits like much, much better. But yeah, hey, assistant is typing, got that back, grows to that point. If it's on mobile, it'll work like a modal. So I can type in something like never mind. Okay, if I click that, nice, working pretty nice for mobile. And as for the text area field, let's see what goes on here. Nice, it's nice, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Now there's just one change that I believe is really important for these type of applications where people are going to grab this and place it inside of their websites. For some cases, this will mess up the entire website because this is defining that the body should have a font weight of 600. The height should be this and it will be applied to the entire website and not only for the chat widget. So let me specify this to cloud for Sonet and see how he handles this. Okay, hit enter, and now the user is asking blah, blah, blah. You're absolutely right. I need to scope all the styles to prevent them from interfering with the existing website. Let me fix this by wrapping everything in a scoped container and prefixing all CSS selectors. Okay, that was done. Again, a lot of emojis. Let me hit accept, check it out to see if it's working fine. Hey, again, assistant is typing, nice. This is working nice. Let's see if it's still working for mobile. Yes, it is. Uh, let's check this, works fine. Yeah, and that is basically it. If you want this entire code, just head down in the comment section. If this video helped you at all, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then.